Hey guys! Welcome to our channel, Product Reviews. A place where you get information about trending products and concepts in the world with purchase links. If you have not yet subscribed the channel, please subscribe. Be the first to type, I am subscribed, in the comment box below. Without much wasting your time, let's get started. Acer Spin 7 is the world's first Snapdragon 8 CX, Gen 2 laptop. The Windows 10 powered Acer Spin 7 is the world's first notebook, powered by the second generation of Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 CX CPU. Acer has announced Spin 7, the world's first laptop with Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 CX Gen 2 platform. The announcement was made at the ongoing IFA 2020 tech show. The Spin 7 is Acer's first laptop with 5G the next generation of mobile internet connection that offers much faster data download and upload speeds. This is a durable, solid aluminum chassis with a good fast computer and pretty good battery life. No flex to the case and bumps don't crack the glass. Get a USB-C hub to dock it and you have a full-size performance computer that can go with you. Keyboard is good and usable, especially with a Bluetooth mouse. Always get this model with SSD instead of HDD completely outclass the more expensive Lenovo Yog lineup. The company claims the Spin 7 will be the first Snapdragon 8 CX Gen 2 laptop. Simply put, the Spin 7 runs on an ARM-based processor. Laptops running on ARM chips promise long battery life and LTE slash 5G connectivity. Acer claims the convertible notebook supports both 5G and Wave and Sub-6 frequencies. The new Spin 7 boasts of a 14-inch 1080p IPS touchscreen panel with antimicrobial Corning Gorilla Glass, a 360-degree hinge, two USB-C ports as well as a USB-A port. The notebook also supports a Wacom ICE 1.0 pen with 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity for note-taking and drawing. It is super light and thin and if you want to carry it around it almost fits everywhere, even in a small bag. The touchscreen works great and the i7 processor makes the laptop a great everyday companion. Qualcomm has been pushing always connected Windows laptops powered by Snapdragon 835 and 850 chips for quite some time. But the previous generation Windows-based connected laptops have got a mixed response. One of the major complaints with always connected PCs is the lack of native apps support for the Qualcomm Silicon. Acer hasn't revealed a price or retail availability of the Spin 7 just yet. Since it is a 5G notebook, Spin 7 should cost over $1,000. The launch of the Spin 7 comes at a time when Apple is rumored to launch a 12-inch MacBook powered by an ARM processor later this year. At WWDC 2020, Apple announced its plans to ditch Intel in favor of its own Apple Silicon based on ARM designs. Apple promises to ship the first Mac with Apple Silicon by the end of this year. It is lighter than the Air and the 14-inch screen is nicely bigger and better than the one on the Air. It was a difficult choice to leave the Apple OS, but in the three weeks that I have been using the Spin 7. I realize that a lot of what I do these days uses the Google platform and it does not make a lot of difference if I use Chrome on a Mac or PC. The Spin 7 uses the newest generation i7 processor. While it is not the fastest, it is reasonable fast, a good trade-off, as far as I am concerned, for being able to function without a fan. Acer, as a nice touch, includes two USB-C adapters, one for USB 3, the other for HDMI. Apple would have charged another $50 to $100 for adapters, which contributed to my decision to switch OS. Hope you enjoyed the video. You guys can initiate a discussion in the comment box, if you have any different opinions about the contents in this video. Be the first to start the debate in the box below. Purchase links related to the products in this video are kept in description. We will be grateful, if you could please make your next purchase from that link, as this will help us to grow our channel. Good morning good evening and good night, whichever part of the world you are from. Don't forget to subscribe to stay connected, I will assure you to make, quality and interesting videos in future. This is Jason Peter, signing off.